an impressive title. Major League Eating's number one ranked eater in the world. And he's also a 15-time Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Champion with a record of eating 76 hot dogs and buns in just 10 minutes. We're going to send it over live to Jackson Field where Studio 10's Claudia Sella and the Joey Chestnut are live. Now, Claudia, what I want to know, Joey is going from hot dogs to olive burgers today, which he's never had an olive burger. But is there anything that he won't eat? <laughs> You know what, Taylor, let's ask him. Joey, is there anything that you won't eat? Oh my God, every year there's an oyster eating contest in New Orleans Ooh. and I, I have to turn it down because raw oysters, they just make me a little nauseous. And, yeah. and it, it's a bummer because uh, one of these days I might learn just just put in the work and build the tolerance for oysters. But uh, it's, it's, dude, the texture is gross. Yeah, I was gonna say, is it the texture? Yeah, the texture and then it's super salty. It, it, it like, reminds me of just a big Lukey. It, it, like, uh, it's, not, it's not at all, I can't imagine eating. 400 of them. Yeah, not really the most appetizing, but you know, you are the king of eating. You are the world's greatest eater. So you, let's start from the beginning. How did you even get here? How did you, did you wake up one day when you were a kid going, I am going to be the champion of eating or how did we get here? Oh my God, it wasn't that at all. I, uh, I grew up in a big family and I was the biggest eater in the family and we were all big eaters, yeah. but uh, eventually like, like my mom and my brothers would get mad at me for eating too much. So it was something I was kind of ashamed of for a long time. And then when I was in college, uh, my brother and a friend signed me up to an eating contest. And I was like hesitant. But I, as soon as I got on stage, I was like, oh my God, I don't have to hold back. I, I could push it. And it, I, I realized that like love at first bite, I could just, uh, I fell in love with eating and uh, or competitive eating. And I, I, I diet beforehand. I, do, I, I put a lot of work into making sure that uh, the day of the contest, I can push it to the limit. Wow, that's incredible. So you said love at first bite. You know, you are really, you're very skilled in this, but you're kind of known for eating hot dogs. But today, you're going to test those skills, right? What are you doing today? Oh, today's olive burgers. And it, it's a Lansing uh, specialty. So I, I've never had a real olive burger. I've tried to make them at home. But uh, I'm, exci I'm excited and nervous, too. Yeah. OK, so what is your strategy going into this? You're used to hot dogs. These are a little different. Oh yeah, so these burgers are like, I think they're a little bit over a quarter, uh, three quarters of a pound. So um, there's no dunking. It's just gonna be bite, squeeze. I'm gonna squeeze it together a little bit, get some of that sauce into the buns. And uh, and then do, chew, chew, swallow, use a little bit of water to help swallow, but uh, find that rhythm, wiggle it down. And uh, don't forget to breathe. Don't forget to breathe. That's a good message. Oh my God. It's, it's, it's People forget to breathe. Yeah. <laughs> Even I forget to breathe sometimes. All right, yeah, so remember to breathe. So, you know, how do you feel after this? What does recovery look like? Are you gonna Are you gonna just relax, or what does that look like for you? I'll, uh, I'll be feeling pretty good. This is only a five minute event. Uh, if it was like 10 or 12 minutes, then I'd be really full. But uh, I, I'm gonna be able to go all out, go uh, go hard for the five minutes. And I'll, I'll, be, I'll be pretty bloated, but I ate super light last night, and today I've eaten nothing. I'm, I'm, I feel pretty good. I can suck in my stomach and say, all right, there's room for, 10 pounds of olive burger in there and uh I, i'm then then hopefully afterwards i'll have some beers with everybody yeah absolutely yeah you're if you if you have room that would be incredibly impressive my last question is you know when you're sitting there and you're eating and you're pushing through what are you thinking about oh my gosh i i uh i, I if, if things are great it's I'm almost like i'm uh i'm not thinking about anything i'll think about my breathing a little bit uh, sometimes I worry about my water tipping over and me not having water to, to help swallow, but uh, if that's if things are going good. If things are going bad, if I'm not in my rhythm and I'm thinking about my swallowing and my jaws, if my jaws are feeling tired, sometimes the jaws and throat just, they're not working together. And, uh, and then, it, then it's hard to find that rhythm. But if I'm in that rhythm, it's almost like I'm, I'm on autopilot and I'm just yeah. like, time flies by. All right, well tonight you're gonna get a chance to see, or people are gonna get a chance to see you Test your skills with Olive Burgers at 645. Um, but thank you so much for talking to me. It was great to have this conversation. Oh, great to be here. Great, great meeting you. All right. We're going to head back to Taylor for now. Otherwise, you can be here at 645. Claudia, I feel nauseous after watching that. Good for you, Joey. Just keep breathing and get the hot dogs. Well, you can catch the Lug Nuts game tonight at 7.05 p.m. against Fort Wayne. And Joey Chestnut will be taking on the Olive Burger competition starting at 6.45. We are going to send it over to First Alert Meteorologist Andy Provenzano to see if the weather will hold up for the game. And Andy, how many Olive Burgers could you eat? Uh, I like Olive Burgers. I love maybe okay. two. Maybe two. <laughs>